Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight SR-71 Blackbird 40mm Twin. Today I'll be programming with this DX6E transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable to all Spectrum DXG2 radios. Let's get started by selecting a new model. I'll click the scroll wheel and we'll scroll down to System Setup. Click on System Setup and you'll see we get a warning letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck. Go ahead and click on Yes. And now we have the System Setup menu. Scroll down to Model Select. And we'll scroll down to the very bottom of this page to select Add New Model. Click on Add New Model. Create. And now we've got a brand new, completely blank model on our transmitter. Now we'll scroll down to Model Name to give the model a name. Starting with the first character, I'm going to name this one SR-71 Blackbird. With the model named, we can push the back button twice, back to the home screen, and now click the scroll wheel, and let's scroll down to DR and Expo and click to set up our dual rates. And we'll start with the aileron channel, since that's what's already selected. Scroll down to where it says switch on to select a dual rate switch for our ailerons. The ailerons, I'll be using the F switch. So I'll scroll to switch F. Click on switch F to lock that in. And with the F switch in the zero position, that'll be our high rates. So we'll leave the dual rates at 100%. However, we need to add an expo of 10%. So scroll to the zero in the expo column, click, and scroll to the right to bring it up to 10%. And click to lock it in. Now we'll flip the F switch down to the zero position for our low rate position and we'll set those rates to 70%. So click on the 100s in the dual rate column and scroll left to bring them down to 70%. Click to lock them in. And now we'll set an expo of 5% for the low rates. Click on the zeros, scroll right to get to 5% and then click to lock it in. Now we'll verify those are working on the F switch. When we flip back to the zero position, there we go, we have our high rates, 100%, with 10% expo. And when we flip down to the one position, there's our low rates, 70% with 5% expo. Now we'll set up our elevator dual rates on the C switch. So we'll scroll up to where it says aileron and click. Scroll to the right, click on elevator. And then scroll down to switch on, click. And we'll choose switch C. C switch in the zero position just like before. The high rates will remain at 100%. However, we'll add an expo of 10%. So we'll click on those zeros in the expo column and scroll right to 10% and click to lock them in. Now we'll flip the C switch down to the one position for our low rates. Now we'll set these rates to 70%. Click on the 100s, scroll left, and click on the 70%. Now we'll add an expo of 5%. Click on expo and scroll to the right till we get to 5% and click to lock them in. And we'll verify to see those are working. Flip back to the zero position. We're in 100% rates, high rates with 10% expo. And we'll flip down to the one position for our low rates. There we see 70% rates and 5% expo. Now we can push the back button. And now scroll down to throttle cut and click on throttle cut. Scroll to inhibit to select a throttle cut switch. Click on inhibit and scroll to the right to choose a switch. The H switch is most commonly used as a throttle cut switch. That's the switch I'll be using. Click on switch H. 
and we can see that just by selecting the switch, it automatically sets the throttle position to negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field. As long as your throttle cut is on, the throttle channel is now locked in to negative 100%. And this will help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we can push the back button back to the home screen. And now this DX6E is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight SR71 Blackbird 40 millimeter twin. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight SR71 Blackbird Twin 40mm. Today I'll be programming this NX6 transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum NX radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down to System Setup. Click on System Setup and then you'll notice we get a warning letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck. Click on Yes. Now scroll down to Model Select. Scroll down on this page to Add New Model. Click on Add New Model, and then click on Create. Now we've got a completely blank, brand new model on our transmitter. Let's give it a name. Scroll down to Model Name. And starting with the first character, I'll name this one SR-71 Blackbird. Now that the model is named, we can push the back button twice, and then once more to take us back to the home screen. Now click the scroll wheel to take us into the function list. Now scroll down to DR and Expo and we'll set up our dual rates. Scroll down to where it says switch on to select a switch for our aileron dual rates. Click on on and we'll scroll to the right to select a switch. I'll be using the F switch for my aileron dual rates. So we'll click on switch F and with the F switch in the zero position, that'll be our high rate position. So we'll leave the rates at 100%, but we need to add an Expo of 10%. So we'll scroll over to Expo, click on those zeros, and scroll to the right to bump that up to 10% and lock it in. Now when we flip the F switch down to the one position, that'll be our low rate position, let's bring those rates down to 70%. Click on those 100s, scroll to the left, bring them down to 70%. And now scroll down to Expo, click on those zeros, and scroll to the right to bump that up to 5%, and click to lock it in. F switch in the zero position is our high rates with 100% rates and 10% Expo. Flip down to the one position, there's our low rates of 70% with 5% Expo. Now let's set up our elevator dual rates. Click on Aileron, scroll to the right, click on Elevator. I'll scroll down to where it says Switch On. And for this switch, we'll be using the C switch. So scroll to Switch C. And just like before, C switch in the zero position, that is our high rates. We'll leave the rates at 100%. However, we need to set an Expo of 10%. Click on that zero and bump it up to 10% and click to lock it in. Now we'll flip the C switch down to the one position for our low rate position. And now we'll bump the rates down to 70%. Click on the 100s and scroll left to bring it down to 70%. And then click to lock them in. And now down to Expo, click on those zeros and we'll bump those up to 5%. Now we'll verify it's working. Flip the C switch back to the zero position there's our high rates with 10% Expo. Flip down to the one position, and there's our 70% rates with 5% Expo. Now keep in mind, both C and F are three position switches. If you flip down to the two position, you're back to 100% rates with 0% Expo. So only utilize the zero and one position. 
Now push the back button and scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut and scroll down to inhibit and click on inhibit to select a throttle cut switch. I'll be using the H switch, my throttle cut switch. And you can see that just by selecting the H switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut value to negative 100%. That's exactly what we want. So long as our throttle cut is flipped on, our throttle channel is now locked in at negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we can push the back button twice to return back to the home screen. And now this NX6 is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight SR71 Blackbird 40 millimeter twin. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight SR71 Blackbird Twin 40mm. Today I'll be programming with this IX14 transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum IX radios. Let's get started by selecting a new model. We'll click the little orange marker on the top left hand side of the screen and then click proceed. Now click the three orange dots at the top right hand side of the screen and select add new model. Default, airplane, create. Now scroll down to the bottom of this page and there we can find our new model, Acro. Click on Acro. And now click on the word Acro again to name the model. We'll delete what's in there. And I'll name this one SR71 Blackbird. With the model named, click Done. And now we can push the back button twice to return back to the main menu. Now let's click on Model Adjust and click on Dual Rates and Expo to set up our dual rates. Starting with the aileron channel, since that's what's already selected, click on where it says Switch On to select a dual rate switch for our ailerons. I'll be using Switch F for my dual rates. Select Switch F. And with the F switch in the zero position, That'll be our high rate position, so we'll leave the rates at 100%. However, we need to add an expo of 10%. So click on the zeros in the expo column. Let's bump those up to 10%, and then hit OK to lock them in. Now we'll flip the F switch down to the one position for our low rate position. And now we'll adjust the dual rates down to 70%. So click on the 100s in the dual rate column, and let's drag those down to 70%. And then click OK to lock them in. Now click on the zeros in the expo column, and we'll bump those up to 5%. And OK to lock it in. And now we can see when we flip the F switch back to the zero position, we get our high rates, 100%, 10% expo. And when we flip down to the one position, we get our low rates of 70% and 5% expo. Keep in mind, this is a three position switch. So if we flip down to the two position, you're back to 100% rates with 0% expo. So only utilize the zero and one position. Now let's set up the dual rates for our elevator. Click on where it says aileron and select elevator. Click on switch on. And for the elevator, I'll be using the C switch. So we'll select switch C. And just like before, C switch in the zero position is the high rate position. So we'll leave the dual rates at 100%, but add an expo of 10%. So click on the zeros in the expo column, and we'll bump those up to 10%. And then click OK to lock them in. Now we'll flip the C switch down to the one position for our low rate position and click on the dual rates, 
and we'll bring those down to 70. And OK to lock them in. And then click on the zeros in the Expo column and bump those up to 5%. And OK to lock them in. Just like before, we can see when we flip back to the zero position, we have our high rates, 100%, 10% Expo. When we flip down to the one position, we have 70% rates with 5% Expo. And keep in mind, it is a three position switch. You flip all the way down to the two position, you're back to 100% rates with zero Expo. Now push the back button, and now let's set up our throttle cut. Click on throttle cut. Now click on inhibit to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used as a throttle cut switch, and that's the switch I'll be using. Select switch H, and we can see now that just by selecting the switch, it automatically sets the throttle. <clears throat> and now we can see that just by selecting the H switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut value to negative 100%, and that's exactly what we want. So long as our throttle cut is flipped on, our throttle channel is now locked in to negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we can push the back button twice back to the home screen. And now this IX-14 is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight SR-71 Blackbird twin 40 millimeter. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial.